Hey there, Tiffany here with Years of Ears, and it's this day in Disney for January 4th, 2021. <laughs> so we fully started the new year, and to start off this day, we're going to go back to 1936 with a Mickey short. It was called Mickey's Polo Team and released on this day. This short was actually produced because Walt really loved polo. Um, this was a stress relief for him. In fact, in, back in 1931, when um, Walt and Lily were having trying to have children, they did have some miscarriages, which, you know, to top off all the stress going on with the studios and just everything in their life, this was harder on Walt than, um, you know, most people realized. And he did have, you know, a breakdown back then. And his doctor insisted that he try a sport to relieve stress. I think he even suggested polo and Walt did try it and he loved it and it was a stress relief for him. So his love of polo is why we have this short and it's a really interesting short. It's similar to Mickey's Gala which um, we talked about a few you know months back <laughs> so you can go check out that video but it has a lot of celebrity caricatures in it of course there's mickey mouse and donald duck and goofy and the likes but there's lots of famous um actors as well uh, in this short so it's very interesting and um, the same styling that they did for Mickey's Gala is very similar with the styling they did on on the caricatures of um, you know the different celebrities of you know the 1930s so some of them are like Laurel and Hardy um, Harpo uh, Marx Charlie Chaplin also the different celebrities like rode different um, animals like Hardy or actually Harpo Ma Marx was on a ostrich <laughs> so um, all the animals that they're riding on actually kind of fit their character they put a lot of thought into this so I really highly suggest you go watch it um, I found it very entertaining it's almost not even a kids cartoon it's kind of more, I don't know, it feels like it's more for adults than kids. So it's definitely worth watching. Then they have spectators in the stand. You have like Shirley Temple, um, Eddie Cantor, W.C. Fields, um, Harold Loy, Greta Garbo again. And I know she was in um, Mickey's Gala also. So Clark Gable, there's, I, I believe, yes, Clark Gable is the one who has like um, Claire Bell Kelly, uh, the cow kisses him. <laughs> so, you know, you'll watch this short. It's very interesting, very entertaining, and um, it's a cool one. And it was directed by David Hand, and they did, I think they did a great job. It was a good short for sure. And then next up on this day in Disney, back in 2013, and this is something that was already happening at Disneyland, um, but this year in particular, and on this day, they began the three kings, kings celebration at Disneyland. So um, this was a limited time magic event, and it was over in Frontierland in 2013. Later, it moved to California Adventure. And this is something that went all the way till to last year, 2020. Um, in the month of January, they still did the Three Kings celebration, and it's really cool. There's um, food, and um, Minnie and Mickey have really neat costumes that celebrate the Mexican culture of Three Kings Day. And obviously this is based off the Three Magi. And um, there's fun food, children can do crafts, uh, just looking at all the stuff that they were doing for Three Kings Day, I was like, man, <laughs> why don't we do this in Epcot? <laughs> it's a really cool event. And they also have um, the food, lots of interesting food. But the one in particular that if you get to enjoy Three Kings Day at Disneyland in the future, because I'm pretty sure they're not going to do it this year, but is the uh, Rosca de Reyes. I 
hope I said that right. <laughs> but it is like um, a sweet bread with, it looks like candy cherries and things. I've never personally had it, but I saw the picture um, online. And this is the bread that has a toy hidden in it. So even at the Disneyland version, there's toy a toy hidden in, I believe, each of them. They're big. They're not, it's not a small thing. You gotta share it. So <laughs> lots of other foods that I haven't experienced, but look delicious and worth trying. So um, back in 2013, this was when they really expanded it and um, moved it. I think it I think it was 2011, 2012 that started, and then really 2013, it really got that full three-day effect and it went to 2020. So obviously, very popular event over there at Disneyland and so looking forward to it coming back when, you know, Disneyland's open or hey, we could do it over in Epcot. <laughs> that would be lots of fun too. But yeah, that's it for this day in Disney. Go on and watch Mickey's Polo. And you know, go online and check it about Three Kings Day. And if you guys love Three Kings, you celebrate it, please feel free to tell me more about it in the, con in the comments below. We would love, I'm sure all of us would love to hear from you and um, the heritage of it. So thanks you guys for, you know, watching and supporting us. We really appreciate it. And I hope you're having a great start to this year and we will see you guys next time. Bye.